What's up, Cal Gang? Today we got this nice line integral question that has some uh, pretty weird functions in it, but you're gonna notice that it's gonna be pretty all right. So if you're like me, you see tangent in like a calculus problem, and you just start to cry a little bit. You're like, please don't make me do this stuff, man. I don't work outside of cosine and sine. But we're gonna do it, and it's actually pretty nice. I've solved it already. All right, so what do we have here? Hmm. Well, when you get this big line integral function with x, y, and z in it, dx, dy, dz, you want to just convert everything to dt and t because you can't solve an integral with multiple functions unless you're doing triple integrals or whatever. But with just one integral, you've got to convert everything to one function to get a nice one answer. So conveniently, they gave us these nice things, x is equal to sine of t, so let's set up an integral. So it goes from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4. So z becomes tangent of t. But then we have a dx. Now what do we do with the dx? Well, what you actually do is you take the derivative of x with respect to t. So dx is equal to cosine of t dt, right? So we put that in there. Nice. On to our next one. So xy is going to be sine cosine, obviously. Now dy, what is dy going to become? It's going to become negative sine dt. y squared, uh, so it's going to be plus, uh, so it's going to be cosine squared dz. What is dz? This. So the derivative of z, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. All right, let's put that in there. Now you're looking at this and you're probably like, oh, thank God, it cancels, it gives you one. All right, so we're gonna break this up into three integrals because there's pretty much a lot of better ways to do this. So we know that tangent is sine over cosine, so the cosines are gonna cancel out and it's just gonna give us sine, right? All right, so i is equal to negative pi over four to pi over four. So sine of t. Um, I don't know, I like to split up my u sub integrals. So this is dt. So this is gonna go, let's make a u sub out of this. We know that this is gonna equal to sine negative sine squared of t, cosine of t, dt. So let's make a u sub. Uh, let's do this somewhere else. This is gonna look a little wonky, but it's gonna be all right. So u is equal to sine t, du is equal to cosine of t, u of negative pi over four is going to be equal to uh, negative radical two over two u of pi over four is gonna be equal to radical two over two. New integral is gonna look like this. Uh, don't forget our negative, so let's bring the negative up front so I don't forget it. Minus the integral from negative radical two over two, negative radical two over two of u squared du, right? All right, now this integral is just gonna become one, so it's gonna be plus the integral from negative pi over four to pi over four dt. Okay, now we can solve this. So this is an easy integral. i is equal to cosine of t, but negative cosine of t from pi over 4 to negative pi over 4. Over here, negative. Uh, so it's going to be u to the third from negative radical 2 over 2 to radical 2 over 2. And then over here, it's just going to be plus t pi over 4 to pi over 4. Pretty good. How long are we at? 420? Let's go. Okay. Solving this, i is equal to, so we got negative, uh, so negative radical 2 over 2 minus positive radical 2 over 2. Uh, so this is going to become 0. Non-existent. This one, this gave me some, uh, I always hate when you like get some weird things going on here. But we can just, uh, we can think about it a little bit better. So it's gonna be radical two. So if you cube this, it's gonna be two radical two. And then over eight. I missed, oh man, I'm really dumb sometimes. This is gonna be 
let's just do you third, and I'm gonna bring out a one third because you know that the one third come out. I don't know if you guys remember me when I missed that. One third minus so right, two over two over eight minus negative, so it's gonna be positive two radical two over eight. So you'll notice that this becomes like four radical two over eight. So it's gonna be one radical two over two over three. So it's gonna be minus radical two over six is what this is gonna become. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure this one out for yourself. It's gonna be plus pi over four minus negative pi over four. So it's gonna be pi over two. And there you go, guys. After all this work, honestly, it feels like more trig than calculus. We got our final answer. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, just a lot of things to keep, you know, keep moving, keeping track of. It's just a lot of work, but it's not that hard, really. I mean, like, look at this. You just kind of put things in, and then you figure it out, and, like, everything cancels out. Like, the cosine and the secant cancel. Boom. Tangent, cosine, tangent. Boom. Cancel. You don't actually have to figure out any of this stuff. You can just use easy stuff. So, yeah, that's how you do the problem. And, uh, yeah, good luck on your Calc homework.